Hello and welcome to Tykes TV, Neil here. I've got Dale on and Andy. So Dale and Andy, it's great to have you on, um, pairing you on. I know it's been busy with work schedules and stuff like that, so we managed to find it all in and Dale's gone all festive for his Christmas top on nice and early. So we're all, we're all good to go. Uh, yeah, I'll come to you then first, Dale. Um, I mean, Peterborough game away, another team that's up being amongst it and a, a possible, you know, tricky tie because it were a... A bar draw last season, as we all know, with full lights going out. What do you, what, what do you take on Batman, mate? Another a good result, mate. Away mm. away performance. Um, three points. You can't moan about it. Mm. Um, two good goals as well. I'm not going to lie. Two very good goals. Um, and, you know, I, Peter, Peter has always been an away day that you know, it's kind of been oh, you know, Peterborough away, but over the last couple of years, we've we've matched them and we've gone head to head against them. Um, but I, I've 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 got nothing to moan about, mate. I, I think it's you know fourth in the league now, very good performance. We you know we over Christmas period, you know, um, away games, the coming th- the coming. Th- Thick and fast, aren't they? Really, um, one well, Peterborough now Oxford this weekend, and it's uh, it's looking good at the minute. It's looking good, but I, ca- I can't moan, mate. Very very well done to it, boys. Very well done. Yeah, just going off that, Andy. What Dale was saying? Good luck, uh, good, well done to it, lads. Because uh, we had a bit of a dodgy start to the season. We were playing yeah. big teams up here in Monstate. Went through a bit of a sticky patch. And considering, I think it's fair to say, you know, we still would need recruitment to certain areas and strikers, but it's all been well mentioned and documented. Yeah. What, a, what a testament to Duff, Patterson and Devaney, you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. to get the best out of players, uh, Andy. Yeah, and, um, you know, we um, like free agents that we've picked up as well, they're doing uh, well. Um, mm-hmm. Connell, I've always said, uh, is getting better and better every game. Mm. Um, I went to Peterborough um, and I thought it was perfect uh, away performance, uh, honestly. In fact, um, I said on my own channel, because uh, I did a video on my own channel, about, mm. and I'll stand by it, we played what I consider uh, a side that's good enough to go up. Um, mm. it, it, I'm not getting ahead of my sen, because uh, let's be honest, it's, <coughs> it, it's, a, it's a game away at Peterborough. But... How uh, we played um, with just a little bit of, well, I would have said tinkering, but we need more strength in depth. Uh, I've always said, we, I personally think we still need at least two strikers for mm. options. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, it was brilliant um, against Peterborough. Far better side, um, kept them quiet. And that goal that Connell scored, um, awesome, brilliant goal. Yeah, just picking up on that, uh, Dale, what uh, Andy was saying about, you know, a good, well-managed performance side, Duff finally installing it into players and self-belief in players as well. Yeah. Uh, Luke O'Connell uh, getting rave reviews and rightly so, you know, got unfor- it were unfortunate because you got a call up, didn't he, for Republic Crown on the 21 when he picked up that bit of an injury, didn't he? So unfortunate for that. But I think... You can see there a lad who's enjoying life and he's enjoying his football, mate, isn't he? Oh, absolutely, mate. A- absolutely. He's, 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 a, he's a really young talent. He's, I, I've said it. I've said it. I've g- give it a year, possibly a year or two, and he's up there with Scowen and Hurrian, in my opinion. Yeah. He's got he's got that talent. Okay. He's, he's got that ability. Um, mm-hmm. But there's, there's, a, there's another player that, that's been picking up form lately, and that's Adam and Adam Phillips. Yeah, yeah, he's been absolutely <clears throat> superb, superb. I mean, yeah, he's still a bit ring rusty, winning ball back for team and stuff like that. But his attacking ability mm. is is second to none. Second to none is is probably man in form in, in league this so far. This last yeah. couple of months, 
You know, it all started at what it Bolton away it all started for him when he scored oh, that uh, FA Cup, yeah. FA Cup, weren't it? Mm. Um and then he then he scored against Shrewsbury and uh, you know, he's mm. he's getting some goals and good on him because it's about time somebody pushed for some for goals and stuff like that because at the minute there aren't players that aren't, you know, in in my opinion, they're not players who are proving themselves for me, you know, for go- for goals and Adam and Adam Phillips is he's is is starting to pick up some grass and 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 start scoring. So good on him. Um, and like you said, we we um, <clears throat> with Michael Duff. I think the last game I went to was our last home game. Um, can't remember who it was now. Uh, who did we play at home? Not too long ago. Uh, anyway, oh, I, can't, I can't remember who we played. Um, uh, it, Acre, yes, there you go. And Exeter, um, yeah. Exeter, yeah. And and I think we were we were superb against them. I think man to man, we actually started playing football. Um, you know those one two touches. I think that was his best performance at season at home, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, great, great to see Adam Phillips getting goal and and Luke Connell. Like I said, he's he's he's, he's got the ability to be up there, like a skull in her hand type of player. And and I don't see why not because if he keeps playing, keeps starting, you know he, he's. He's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot to prove. So, and he's doing that. So, yeah. Yeah, I've just got fixtures up here. Um, it was yeah, Crew in FA Cup, Port Vale, and Papa John's in League One. MK Dons. MK yeah, that's before it. Sorry. that and that. So, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, just picking up on what uh, Dale was saying there, uh, Andy, about Adam Phillips, and mm. he seems to have gone a bit under the radar. And I think it's unfortunate that Luke Thomas, you know, picked up his injury and we. Around about the time we went through that bit of a blip, we, we couldn't seem to get any momentum. It were a bit disjointed, or a bit even and a bit everywhere. Yeah, Adam Phillips seems to have gone in, and for me, I, I, it seems to be like a bit of a ghost in a way is that he knows where to go, just at right position. Uh, playing the same via chance of created, which that's what I like to see. Um, yeah. under radar, but just pops up. And, I, and when I say just pops up, I don't mean pops up and just taps it in because he scored some pearlers and all from yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I think that's a confidence in lad isn't it uh, Andy yeah I, I like him as a player um, <clears throat> honestly I, I, when we signed him um, a few uh, we went from Burnley didn't we yeah really? Duff knew about him didn't he Duff knew about yeah, him just, but a few Burnley fans were telling me that uh, great player on his day but uh, does sound like he might have a bit of a, like an attitude problem but I ain't seen that yet so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they said um, when we signed him that he'd score goals for us. And um, yeah, that he, he's, proving, he's proving that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's supposed to be good at set pieces as well. Uh, so some Burnley fans just told me as well. Um, but yeah, it does sound like we've got a decent player there. Um, and I, I hope um, going on injuries as well, I hope um, Edwards and uh, Benson uh, recovers because... I think they'll be a big miss, to be honest. Yeah, a few niggles and a few injuries. Uh, yeah. Keep into it. I mean, going into Oxford game. Um, would you more or less keep like for like is in the same formation setup? I think I would, Dale. Uh, yeah. Oxford, yeah. you'd want that consistency there, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely, mate. And, and they've got they've got um, some decent players as well. They've got mm. Brannigan. Brannigan. Mm. Um, he's their captain. He's scoring goals for them. Um, yeah, I, I, I would. I, I'd just keep it as it is. You know, you've got you, you've got your winning squad now. You've got your you, you, you've got your performing squad. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we haven't lost a game. Uh, we haven't lost a game since uh, well for a few weeks. To be fair, we haven't. You know, we haven't. We haven't lost a game. So. I think they're up there as well, aren't they, Neil? I think like, Oxford, I think they're up Oxford. there. They're top, top 10, are they? About 14th, I think. Uh, Oxford are uh, 14th, yeah. 14th. points on 14th. 
But I mean, having said that, it sounds a, a big distance, around 14 for 25. But you know, when you look at like say you're in sixth spot, Peterborough 31, so it's a couple of wins in your view, aren't you? So it's not yeah. a million miles yeah. away. No, something about consistency run, isn't it? Yeah, and um, I think <laughs> it's not an easy game, Oxford, because they've always, you know, they've always had a strong squad, they've always finished. In, in league well as, and um, they'll be looking I always find it like a, a bit of an unpredictable place Oxford to go you don't know oh, yeah. what, what kind of team you're going to be up against whether they're going to be full on and in your face or sit back and soak it I don't know it's like one of them you know one of them kind of sides that you don't really know how they're going to approach game yeah they're straight inside aren't they straight yeah. inside well um, I mean I'm not going because the price for a ticket is in my opinion, yeah. dis- disappointing. It's not great. Yeah. Twenty six yeah. quid, nearly thirty quid for a ticket. Mm. It's it's not good that for me, especially yeah, it's when unfortunate been... if you haven't joined that twenty for plenty, isn't it? It's unfortunate yeah. that we should have done. Yeah, that. and but yeah. listen, whoever's going down there, you know, good luck to him. You know, mm. support lads, get behind them because we're we're doing so well at minute, and it's. It's really nice to see. It's really nice mm. to see a Barnsley side actually not winning games, but playing football, playing well. You know, I'm, I want us to win games, don't get me wrong, but I also want to see performances, you know, proper strong performances from, from side. And I, we haven't seen that for a, for a while. Um, but like you said, Oxford, it's not going to be easy. It's not mm. going to be easy because they've got, they're, they're a strong squad, they're a strong side that they're very physical. We've seen, we've seen to even win or draw quite a few games, isn't it? There's like yeah. a lot of draws, what they do. So it's kind of frustrating one, but Andy, just going back what Dale was saying there, it's like Oxford, you don't know what you're going to get. But again, the I think the performance and belief in team and well, it's squad it's in, not just first side to 11, but even its squad. I think there's that bit of camaraderie, but there's also that bit of we can do this kind of thing. Do, do, yeah. do you see that? Do you know what I mean? When you were at, 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 at Peterborough, sorry. Yeah, um, definitely. Um, I couldn't pick uh, a bad player to the team, to it be honest. Hard, it was hard to do my man at the match for it kind of thing. I yeah. know there were a fair few, which is good to see, in a way, yeah. there's a fair few knocking on the door saying I should be man at match. <laughs> well, again, going on my uh, crappy YouTube channel um, I get a bad at match uh, to all team um, mm, mm. I, I honestly think it was really really good team performance and if we play like a bit key play for us then going into this then Andy on Saturday who do you think will be key play for us um, Connell Connell um, I, I, to be honest I don't think there's much wrong with midfield um, mm. a shout out to Kane as well Irby Kane he played well he put his son about and he looks hungry. Um, football. Um, yeah, I think I think it's. Um, I personally think it's going to be a battle at midfield um, against Oxford, but I ain't got a problem with that because I think, um, like I said, I don't think there's much wrong with our at midfield at the minute. Um, yeah. It's just keeping injuries and suspensions down in it at the minute and um, get us over that January. Transfer window, see if we can fetch a few people yeah. into strength and squad. Creeping up soon and all that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Dale, I mean, just going, I mean, you know, Luke O'Connell, you might, you know, agree, you might, you know, it might be someone else feel, but who would you see will be our key man come Saturday uh, uh, against Oxford, mate? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Connell's up there. Adam mm. Phillips again, he's up yeah. there. Um, yeah. Mads, Anderson. Yeah, he's been he's been an absolute oh. rock for us. Yeah, uh, you know you got Nicky Cadden as well, bombing down that right hand side. Mm. He, he needs to practice his crossing a little bit, does Nicky Cadden? I think <laughs> just put a you know put a bit more eye on ball and stuff like that. But he's you know he's not he hasn't put a foot wrong. There's, you know mm. you Jordan Williams as well. Oh, for me, I think since he's coming to side, you think it's made a difference. He's made a difference. Yeah, yeah. He's offered a bit extra dark right on side, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. got his goal against MK Dons and all. Mm. What was super? It were it were hard that you know. It, yeah. 
I watched it back a few times on uh, Goals on Thing, and I didn't realise how that. He had to like readjust in mid-air. Yeah. Like, it yeah. took it well. He gave, like gave us that bit of energy on right-hand side, and yeah. people are slagging him off. But I've, I've always stuck by Jordan Williams because he offers, you know, he, he's, he's that attacking fullback who actually wants to get forward. It's just yeah. keeping injury free, isn't it? Like, We've got to yeah. keep him in, that's, that's his problem. It's injury yeah. free. Um, he's defensively as well. He gets mm. back. He's got the energy to get back once he's got forward. Mm. He can finish as well. Um, but I, th- I, th- I think for me, my, if I had to say a dark horse, I think it would be Jordan Williams, in my opinion. Good call. Yeah, I mean, you both come out with some players here and... and... I'm not being funny, you know, but when you look at players that have been mentioned in the last few weeks, they've all been up with all Vera Bart's for man at mm. match. Uh, Liam Kitchen and all, I'll give a shout mm. out to him because he's, yeah. I think you kind of know what you're going to get with Kitchen. Uh, but what I've been impressed with, I don't know what your guys think, is that he's trying to bring ball out of defence uh, a lot. And what I'm watching mm. when he's doing that is you look at players who's like dropping back in position. I've seen Luke O'Connell dropping into right wing back. I've seen Herbie Kane dropping into left. They all seem to know now that when someone goes forward, there's cover. <coughs> Whereas last season, when someone bombed forward, it was always in this area. Gaps it all was, I think it's tightened got, up a bit now. He's also got to learn how to pass ball and all, though, Neil. He's got a bit of nose bleed, that, but... but I'd rather him lose ball up at top eighth at pitch, mm. staying on a bit of run, than losing it back on six yeah. yard area. You know what I mean? So, And again, who knows? It might just take back. Bit of a major run, and also he lets go, and he's like, a, it's a perler, and it's like confidence for that vein. Who knows? Aaron Phillips, another couple of goals, and it, it gives that confidence that beating a boost up. Jordan Williams, well taken goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been headed, isn't it? So, right. What's your, thought, what's your thought on Collins? What's your thought on Brad Collins? Because last think, few weeks for me, I think his injuries has has played a part in his performances. I just think that obviously he's still solid, but mm-hmm. what what's your guys? Well, after, well, do you want to answer Andy? I'll let Andy answer first for now. I personally think, well, going back to Peterborough game, I thought he looked more or less back to normal, um, if I'm honest. Um, mm. It always seems like an extra defender for me. Um, yeah, um, I think his confidence has uh, come back, and I don't think he's far off as you know what he used to be before. Uh, to be honest. Um, and again, um, Collins needs a shout out as well because, you know, uh, coming back from that injury and, you know, what what, he, what he's done in a short space of time um, is amazing. I think it all boils down as well that they're going to play for manager as well rather than previous managers as well. Yeah. I mean, my take on uh, Collins when he picked up that injury at Cambridge away, wasn't it, I believe? Yeah. Uh, is that. I know Walton came in, and for me, he didn't do out wrong. But when Collins came back and he had that face mask on, I thought it was too early for him. I could tell, just looking at him, he was a bit hesitant coming out for ball. He was a bit unsure, and I think that's confidence. Obviously, he's picked up a bad, in, you know, bad injury. But I kind of agree. In the last couple of weeks, I think he's steadily getting back to the player he was, and I agree with that. With what you just said, via Peterborough, I noticed he was coming out as a sweeper keeper. Which mm. in previous games he wasn't doing as much. MK yeah. Dons, he was doing it a bit, but not as what he was used to do before. Whether that's been he's been tilted or that, I don't know. Or whether it's he's just got that bit of confidence and belief. But I think now I kind of seen Collins are a what well, a bit more solid. But I think a couple of weeks after the Cambridge game, well, sorry, a couple of weeks after the uh, Walton had been rested and Collins came in with mask on, I don't think he was a player that. It was now. I think I can I, now I can see it, but back then, you know, in hindsight, would you kept Walton him? Because if if Collins came in, I know he's got that face mask on, but say he took another clout as goalkeepers do up in area uh, in air, could he been out even longer? And mm. for me, what Walton didn't really do out wrong in that period of time, so it is what it is. But yeah, good shout on that deal. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, and uh, good shout about Collins and like what Andy said. I think the players now are wanting to play and they're wanting to, you know, be in starting 11 kind of thing. I mean, yeah. Benson, I bet he must be like, you know, tearing wallpaper off at walls. Mm. I mean, on bench, he must be frustrating. But then again, 
you want that competition, so you want that people to push players what's in first eleven. So is the, is the competition it. for Benson to start though? Is it really? Well, I mean, I I, I would think so because I mean, you, you look at like Connell and Kane in midfield. I mean, you've got Matty Wolf to come back and Luke Thomas to come back. So there's, there's going to be an abundance of midfielders. And then Josh Martin, we're not even mentioned in. He's not even yeah. looking at minute. No. So we seem to have like, uh, you know, Adam Phillips is like scoring goals. So he's obviously keeping his place inside. Mm. Luke O'Connell is being Luke O'Connell and like progressing. Herbie Kane's having a silly game and improving. So it's like, would you want to rest any of them and bring Benson back in? Or Matty Wolf, would you fetch it? It's a good dilemma to be in. I'd rather be like that than say, oh, okay, oh, we've got on bench to but now <laughs> Luke Thomas come back in New Year, all being well touch wood, you know, yeah. comes back and if there's no complications. I think, I think mid January, early February, mm. I think I've heard. Yeah. So again, be like another summer signing when he, uh, sorry, another signing when he comes in January yeah. transfer window. Yeah. Um School predictions then. Oxford United. I'm going to come to Dale first. Well, I'll keep. I'd keep same side. Yeah. Um, as Peterborough. I don't know if there's any uh, injury worries or anything. I like have to doubt. I know I'm going to Peter great Peterborough game. So they've well, Jordan Williams with a bit of a doubt, but after the Peterborough game, I haven't really heard don't. So right. Okay. Well, if it, I'll let's say we same side. Mm. I'll go ooh, away game again. Uh, I'll go two. I'll go two one again because I think Oxford. I've got a goal in them. I think they've got that sort. Of, they've got that get in your face, rough mm. people up, and stuff like that. Mm. Um, it's not an easy place to go. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go two one. Two one, Dale, Andy. I was going to say exactly the same, two one. Um, just to be different, no, I'm going to. I'll say two nil. Two nil. Reds. Yeah. Away game. They draw a lot. Oxford. I'm going to go. To, I want Barnes to win two one, but I just think it's going to be two two. I think there's going to be goals in it, but yeah. I think Oxford have drawn a lot. Yeah, I think let's have a look at form. Drawn, 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 one drawn, drawn. So again, not many losses draw, here. So draw specialist, yeah. draw specialist. So yeah. I'd like um, my heart says two one Barnsley, but it's kind of saying draw. Would you possible. take? Would you take a draw? Would you take a draw? If, I don't, to be fair, I don't think it's a bad. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad uh, bad result yeah. uh, going no. to uh, uh, any away. But I think, look, if we go to Peterborough, you know, and over to other side we've been to. Cambridge and stuff like that. I mean, we, we went to Cambridge. I think they had probably its uh, best home record, I believe, at the time. We, we so. went there down to 10 men and injured goalie. So, again, players were going in there thinking, no, we're going to go out uh, and come away with three points. And I think that's refreshing to know and see is that mm -hmm. we're going to we're going to do this. Yeah. You know, uh, no, nah, sorry, I'm going. I'm going to one Barnsley. No, <laughs> to one Barnsley. <laughs> to one Barnsley. So yeah, uh, Dale, Andy, thanks for joining. Uh, please welcome, like, man. subscribe, and share. Leave the comments below. Let, let us know what you all think. Uh, we're both going. Well, we're all going for a Barnsley away win. Um, be a nice little that's one the first, isn't it? Christmas. I know that's a that's first, a, isn't it? That's a first for a while. Might be a, no, might be a Norman, but <laughs> might be a Norman. So. Please like, leave your comments below. Dale, thanks for joining me, mate. I know it's been You're busy welcome, for you and that. And Andy, same to you, welcome. as always. It's a pleasure to have you on, guys. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>